In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this drawing. It's the drawing for part 27, lower die 2, outer ring. It's part of the button maker project, project 8.1. Start out by uh, verifying the orientation of your part. Uh, go to your front view and verify that the part is oriented like this with the notches at uh, 12 and 6 o'clock. And this feature here uh, at 3 o'clock. Also verify that your material is set to uh, steel or a steel alloy. I'm going to start out by creating a new drawing. I'm going to place my base view. Uh, set the scale at 2 to 1. Do a top view and an ISO view. Uh, double click on this view and turn shade it on. I'm going to go to annotate and choose my center line tool. Point to the outer diameter and zoom in and hit escape twice and I'm going to grab this uh, green dot and pull it up a bit and the same over here. I'm going to create another view. Uh, this time it's a section view. I'm going to point to uh, this view here, the front view, and that place my cursor at the end of that line and bring it down and at the end of that line. Uh, position your cursor to the right of the line, uh, right mouse button and continue. Position your cross-section view uh, about there. I'm going to go back to annotate and use this center line tool. Point to this uh, middle of this line here, the green dot, and likewise same here, here, and here. I'm going to create a new view, a detail view. Uh, select this view here. Position my cursor, zoom in, and position my cursor here at the center of this little feature here and draw a circle. Zoom out and I'm going to place my, uh, sec my detail view about there. I'm going to enlarge it a bit because I'm going to dock, de dimension these small features. So I'm going to double click on the outline of the part and let's make it uh, 5 to 1. Go back to annotate, dimension, select this line and that point. Select that point and that point. I'm going to dimension these uh, diameters. I'm dimensioning the inside line, not the chamfered edge. And I'm not going to document the, the, the hidden line here. I'm going to do that on the side, side view. You notice that it's choosing a radius. I want a diameter. I'm going to right click, choose dimension type, choose diameter. 
just so I have consistency across here. The reason it's choosing a, a radius is because it doesn't go all the way around the part. It's cut off here. But just for consistency, I'm going to uh, specify a diameter. And the same thing here, right mouse click, dimension type, diameter. Go to my uh, chamfer tool here, point to this edge and then to this edge. Go back to my dimensioning tool. Hit escape twice and uh, double click on there and hit a carriage return and type in both sides. I double click on this on this dimension and position my cursor at the beginning of the line. And choose my diameter tool. I'm going to change the title of the drawing. Go to up to right click on the icon here and go to eye properties. Go to Summary, and let's change the title to 27 Lower Die to Outer Ring, and change this to your name. Export the drawing to PDF, and submit it to LMS to complete the assignment.